All right. My name is Kim Schofield, and I'm a program specialist for IPM with Texas Cooperative Extension. And today we're going to discuss a little bit about pinning. Um, for the placement of the insect pins as well as labels, they need to be standardized and a well-ordered collection will place each of the insect specimens um, together according to their order. Okay, before we start pinning, we have to make sure that we do have um, the proper pins. And we use insect pins. Commonly, we use size two or three. Uh, these will not rust, and they're steel pins. Insect pins are going to be longer than normal sewing pins to allow for easy handling. So as you can see here, there's enough room for two fingers to be placed at the top of the pin um, so you do not damage the insect specimen. And also there's enough room for the label to be placed underneath the insect specimen. Okay, in order to get the insect as well as the label in the correct place, we can use a pinning block. So you can place the insect onto the pin and then for proper adjustment for height, you simply place the pin inside the first block and then remove it to get it to the proper height. And then put the label next. And then place it in block two to get the label height as needed. And then if you had a secondary label for the genus, species, and author of the insect, it would go at the third height. For getting the insect legs correctly placed, as well as their wings, we can use different tools, such as forceps. They make soft forceps, which can gently glide those wings into place when you're spreading them, as well as to guide the legs and for pinning. There's also hard forceps that are really good at grabbing little insects, but just be careful um, as to not to damage those insect specimens. Insects within each order are going to be pinned differently as to not obstruct any of the defining characteristics. So as you can see here from these um, nice diagrams. You can see that the beetle is always going to be pinned to the right side within the elytra. And if we move on into the true bugs, um, we can see that it's going to be pinned right through the scutellum. But in some textbooks, it says just to the right of the scutellum.